All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to start my lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, to the elect of the nation of Israel. This is a Ratazah, uh, once again from the Great Millstone GMS Atlanta camp, with another quick video. All right, and the title of this video is The Lord Wants You for Himself. And, um, you know, I just pulled together, you know, uh, about four scriptures. Um, if anything else comes to mind, Lord willing, I'll, I'll pull it up and uh, go over it. But basically, you know, it was just a thought that, you know, had came to mind going into how, you know, if you're a man of the Lord, all right, if you're a prophet, if 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 you've been ordained a, a prophet of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and that's your lot, all right. And you, you know, you you come back into this life, this this lifetime. That's what you're set to do, all right. And whatever it is that gets in in your way, all right. As far as whatever's in your life that's trying to hinder you from doing the will of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, best believe that's going to be taken away or it's going to be moved around because you got a job to do. All right, because the Lord wants you, all right, the Lord wants you or us, you know, to do this work. So some things that may get in our way, whether it's a, a job, all right, whether it's a, a, whether it's a woman or anything, anything that, that, that takes our attention away from this truth, all right, how about Shem Yahweh Shah set up a scenario to where that particular thing gets moved out of there, man, because why? You know, this is your lot, is to be a prophet and to teach this word, man. And it really goes back to, you know, the, the heavenly, the, you know, the heavenly father being a jealous power. You know, the heavenly father hates when you put all your attention and love and focus on something else and not on him. All right. So I just want to just read a couple of scriptures on that. I'm going to start here. All right. Going back to the law. All right, the book of Exodus, chapter 20, starting at verse uh, 4, points and 5. It says, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. It says, Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them. So certain things that you that you focus on too much, all right, something that you prioritize more than is truth, that's like an idol. You know, you make it like a god, and you don't even realize it, man. All right, whether it's your woman, your kids, your lifestyle, your career, anything you put before your Habba Shemi Al Shah in his ministry, that's like your god, man. All right. It says, "Thou shalt not bow, thy, bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I, the Lord, thy power, am a jealous power." See, <laughs> the Most High gets <laughs> gets aggravated when we uh, do things like that. It says, "Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me." Now, I read this in the uh, in the NLT translation. It says, all right, the same verse in the uh, in the NLT Bible, it says, You must not bow down to them or worship them, for I, the Lord, your power, am a jealous power who will not tolerate your affection for any other gods, right? So you can't show more affection for other things, all right, more than Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai in his ministry, all right? And that was, that was the main point on that. So we got to keep that in mind, man, and, and always keep this truth first. All right. Because the Lord will again. All right. If it's your lot to, to do this work. All right. The most high will change things around to make sure that you are going to fulfill his will. All right. That's the point on that. Let's go to uh, Jeremiah now. Jeremiah one and five. All right, we all know the scripture. This is Jeremiah 1 and uh, 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. 
and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Now, this is speaking of the prophet Jeremiah. This applies to all the prophets. Okay, this was the same process that happened with all the prophets of the Most High, even us that have you know came back in our lot in this time. All right, the Lord already predetermined that we was going to do this work, teach the word, so forth and so on, man. So that's what we set up to do. All right, is to teach the word of Yahweh by Shem Shai. If anything gets in the way of that, or if you put something before what you were sent to do, all right, it 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 very well may get taken away. All right, so that you can focus, man. And that's that's really the main point. All right, First um, Corinthians, uh, one. Uh, the point is in thirty five. I'll just start at thirty four. Um, it says there is a difference also between a wife and a virgin. The unmarried woman careth for the things of the Lord, that she may be holy both in body and in spirit. But she that is married care for the things of the world, how she may please her husband. And this I speak for your own profit, not that I may cast a snare upon you, but for that which is comely, that ye may attend upon the Lord without distraction. See that? And when you go into this chapter, Paul's going to, you know, marriage. And he's giving advice to the man as far as, you know, he wished that everybody was like him. All right. Paul didn't have a, he wasn't married. He didn't have a woman at that time. All right. And he spoke about the men who were married. He said, what? Uh, those of you that have, have wives be as though you had none. Because when you have a wife, as it says, you, you basically care for the things of the world. How you may please your wife. You know, and vice versa. But when you don't have that, 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 that there, you can focus more on this truth. All right. Yeah, see, when you jump up to uh, 30, 32, it says, but I have, will have you without carefulness. He that is unmarried, care for the things that belong to the Lord, how he may please the Lord. Right. Because you don't have that. Let me read 33. But he that is married, care for the things that are of the world, that how he may please his wife. So that's why he made that statement. Those of you that have wives, be as though you had none, so that you can attend unto the things of Yahweh Hashem Shah. You don't have that distraction there. All right? But if you do have a woman and she does become a distraction, <laughs> and the Lord has already predestinated you to teach this word, a Lord might have y'all break up. All right? Or, or have a, you know what I'm saying? Or have however it is, man. Anything that gets in your way, you know, hey, man, just be, hey, <laughs> just be, be ready. You know, don't marvel if the most high, uh, you know, take it away, man. And that's, that's really the main point. Um, let's read this one. Uh, this is Sirach, Ecclesiasticus 27 and 9. It says, uh, it says, it says, the birds will resort unto their like. So will truth return unto them that practice in her. And that goes into basically every man comes back in a lot. So if you had this truth in your past life, if you was a prophet of the Lord in your past life or past or past lives, it's going to keep coming back to you. All right. Because the, the Heavenly Father, that was another statement a brother had made. It's like the, the Heavenly Father uses the, uses the same vessels or the, or the same spirits to bring forth his will. All right. So the truth. All right. The words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah in these scriptures is always, always returns to those who was already chosen from the beginning. All right. So you're always going to be in that lot, man. You know, because that's what the, our spirits were. Basically, hardwired to do was teach this word, man, and serve Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. So, hey, I mean that that was pretty much it, man. You know, I just wanted to bring out those couple points. All right, you know Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, he wants us for himself, man. He's jealous. 
And we can't put our focus on other things above Yahabashim Yahusha or love it too much because then, hey, the, <laughs> then those things will be uh, uh, separated from us, man. You know, the Lord wants us holy. He wants us focused, you know, to do his will. So, you know, Lord Willis was an edifying video. All right, it was short and sweet. Giving all praise on the glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Racha Kodash. And uh, Lord willing to the next uh, lesson, I say Shalom.